now we are going to discuss about base pairing you might have studied these things in your school class let us revise the things that we have studied a common theme throughout all biological systems and at all levels is the idea that structure and function are intimately related watson and crick's appreciation that the dna molecules within cells typically exist as double stranded molecule was an invaluable clue as to how dna might act as the genetic material what they reported in their classic 1953 paper describing the structure of dna is that the information content on one of those strands was essentially redundant with the information on the other dna could be replicated and faithfully passed on from one generation to another simply by separating the two strands and using each as a template for the synthesis of a new strand as we have already discussed the information content in a dna molecule comes from the specific sequence of its nucleotides while the information content on each strand of a double stranded dna molecule is redundant it is not exactly the same it is complementary for every g in one strand a c is found on its complementary strand and vice versa every a one strand a t is found on its complementary strand and vice versa the interaction between g's and c's and between a's and t's is both specified and is both specific and stable the nitrogenous base guanin with its two ringed structure is simply too large to pair with two ringed adenine or another guanin in the space that usually exists between two dna strands by the same token the nitrogenous base thymine with its single ringed structure is too small to interact with another single ringed cis cytosine or thymine space is not a barrier to interaction between g's and t's or a's and c's but their chemical nature are incompatible as will be described later on after some time only the pairing between the nitrogenous bases g and c as shown in this figure and pairing between the nitrogenous bases a and t as shown in this figure have both the right spacing and interaction between their chemical groups to form stable base pairs in fact the chemical interaction between the two different kinds of base pairs is actually so stable and energetically favorable that it is responsible for holding the two complementary strands together although the two strands of dna molecules are complementary that are not in the same 5- bar 3- orientation the two strands are said to be anti parallel to each other with the 5- end of one strand corresponding to the 3- end of the complementary strand and vice versa strictly speaking the two strands of a double stranded dna molecules are reverse complement each other sequence features that are 5 dash to a particular reference point are commonly described as be upstream those that are described as being downstream <laughs>